Hi everyone, I am Renee. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you with me today. We're going to do a 15 minute cardio workout. No equipment is needed and you will have some optional jumps if you would like to add them in, but you do not need to do any jumping and you will still get your heart rate up, which is what we are here to do today. Keep you healthy, strong, and fit. Remember, I always talk about keeping working out to be fun. You want it to be something that you enjoy doing. So there will be no repeat moves. This is a no repeat workout. Every move will be different. So we'll have 15 rounds of 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and not one single move you will redo. So I like that. I get bored in my workouts. This keeps it interesting and keeps it fun. And I love quick, simple, to the point workouts. You can add this in throughout your day whenever you feel you just need to get up and get moving. Okay. So let's get started. I will show you what's to come during our 15 minute break. Make sure that you have some water nearby because you will need that. And here we go. I'm going to set the timer. Our first move, before I set the timer, I'm going to show you our first move actually. So you're going to start standing up and you're going to walk your hands out to a plank and then take a little push up and then you're going to walk right back up and come to standing. So this is kind of a nice little warm up for our bodies as well. Since we're not going to do a warm up, this will get our bodies in and going. Okay, so now I will hit start on our timer and let's get started. Take a deep breath in, roll your shoulders back and take it down. So you're going to walk your hands out, come to a plank, bend your arms, press up and then walk back and come all the way to standing and make sure you roll your shoulders back and continue taking that for these 45 seconds on and 45 seconds off. Deep breaths in and deep breaths out. And you will feel your core, your upper body. Everything is starting to work together here. And you're starting to get ready for what's to come. Remember, you always want to think of engaging your core throughout this entire workout. Your core is your stable zone. It's your center. It's your powerhouse. So I'm a big believer in focusing in on that throughout every movement. You just have a couple more seconds. So take it one more like this. And then on the next one, you'll get to come to the top and hold it there. Okay, so you have 15 seconds now. Okay, so now we're going to take it. And this is, again, another kind of warm-up workout. And you're going to tap your opposite toe with your opposite hand. Just like that. Okay, take a few more seconds there. Deep breath in, deep breath out, and let's get started. So tap right to left and left to right. And you just kind of want to swing your arms. Feel your abs and your navel pull in as you lift your legs. And as your upper and lower body are working together, this will get your heart rate up even quicker. Anytime that you have a move that's working upper and lower body, that is when you will really accelerate your heart. And you'll start to breathe. Shoulders away from your ears. Deep breaths in and out. Nice, quick, and controlled. That's the other one I want you to think about is controlling your movements. Not just flailing around, but actually controlling the lift of your leg, controlling the lower of your arms. Take it one more on each side. Now you have 15 seconds. See? It goes by really fast. Okay. The next one to come is just you're going to squat down, touch the floor, and then reach up. So you want to make sure that you're keeping your knees over your toes. So if you can't reach the floor, just squat with your hands in a purr and then reach up. Okay, let's get started. Squat and reach. So sit back in your heels. Toes should not be coming over. I'm not going to touch the floor right now. I'm going to just do the hands to a prayer and reach up. If you want to take it down, feel free to take it down. Just make sure that your form stays. Form is most important. You want to always be protecting your joints, protecting your body. These workouts are also great to do with your kids. I know that everyone has their kids home. This is, would be a great 15 minute, we call them brain breaks around our house. So a great way to give everybody a little movement and then you get right back to it. So my girls love to join me on these workouts. Ready? Just one more. Move it in. See, quick, easy. Okay, so now we're gonna take front punches. So you want your feet Nice about hip width distance apart. Soft bend of your knees here so you can have some movement. Hands are going to come up and then you're just going to nice quick front punches. Twisting from your midsection. Okay, let's go. Ready? Punch side to side. And you can feel your obliques engaged since you have a small rotation here. And you really want to think of not extending your arms perfectly straight. So protect your joints. And you just get them about three quarters and you snap it back in. And then the other fist stays by your chin. So it's just quick. And you want to think snap, snap, back and forth. I love boxing. It's truly one of my favorite cardio workouts. 
I feel like it gets your heart rate up, but you also feel strong and empowered as you're punching and kicking. So it's a great way. And we will see a lot more kickboxing workouts on this channel as the time goes on. Twisting from the midsection, tight, controlled, soften of your knees. And that's it. Done with that one. And the next one is going to be knee pull throughs. We're going to start with our right. So right leg's going to step back, soft bend of your left, arms reach up, and then you just pull your knee through. So again, and then you tap back, nice and soft as that tap back. Ready? Here we go. Pull through and tap, through and tap. So you can feel your abs engage to pull that knee up, and then your arms reach straight overhead into a nice line. And you want to think all balance is taking place on your left foot. So sitting back in your left heel, and then you extend and pull. And the next 45 seconds, we will take this on the other side. So don't worry. We will make sure we even everything out. I'm a big believer in what you do on one side. You need to go do on the other side. Keep your body even and in motion working together. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Your left thigh and your glute muscles should be on fire. One more here. Okay, 15 seconds, and we're going to take it on the other side. You are doing great. You are almost halfway through. Maybe not quite yet, but you're getting there. And we will be there before you know it. Hopefully, you put on some of your favorite songs. Okay, other side. Let's pull through, through, tap back, pull, and tap. So your arms are reaching straight overhead. Your abs are pulling your knee up towards your chest. And then your arms reach up and tap. This is when you're going to find balance, and you should focus on a non-moving object, a point, something you can find, and that will really help. Balance moves are so important to keep us connected and to keep us strong and healthy. As we age, balance is one of the things that likes to go, and it gets a little bit harder. But as we continue with our balance work, it will keep us strong, healthy, vibrant. A few more on this side. Okay, 15 second break. And now we are going to come onto the floor this time. And you're going to get in crab position. So your hands go underneath your shoulders. Then you're going to lift your seat so it's just a little bit off of the floor. And you're going to touch opposite hand to opposite foot. Okay, one second. Okay, here we go. This one's kind of fun. Now you really, really, really need to think of engaging your core here. You can let it go and just let your legs flail as you lift. But if you continue to focus on that muscle connection, you will feel this even deeper in your core. Your arms, you will feel this as your triceps have to hold you up with one of your arms. Your back of your legs will also. So this is a total body move, one of my favorites. I love to incorporate this because it just gets us up and down. I like to move to different positions. Again, it's all about having fun and not getting bored. Because I know, I don't know about you, but I know I would not come back to a workout that I was bored. Okay, 15 seconds already. So make sure you have your music on too during these workouts. Okay, so we're coming back up and you're just going to heel to your bum. And if you feel like running it out, you can run it out. So this is all for you. 45 seconds, here we go. I'm going to run it out for a little bit. We'll see if this continues or if I end up just... Walking it out. We'll see what happens. Take some deep breaths in. Soft landing. So if you are running it out, make sure you're landing softly. And even if you're just walking it out, and you should feel this in the back of your thighs, that is what is pulling you. So your hamstrings are what is pulling your heel up towards your glutes. And then you feel a nice stretch in the front of your thighs, actually. So it's a great full body breath. It's getting a little harder, getting stronger. Put a smile on that face because you are doing this for you. Three, two, and one. Okay. Whew. Take a break there. And now we are just going to do side knee up. So you're going to bring your arms to goal post position here. And you're going to alternate lift right, lift left, lift side. You can add a little bend there. Ready? Go. Do you want a side bend right, side bend left? And you're just switching side to side. You can bring your breath down a little bit. If you were jumping on the last one, even if you weren't, that's pretty quick. Deep breaths in and out. So happy you chose to turn on my video today. So happy you're with me. I'm really enjoying producing these workout videos for you. 
I just want people to enjoy taking care of themselves. I want people to enjoy moving. And if this is what does it, I am so happy to be able to connect with you and to keep you moving, to keep you healthy, happy, and just living life to its fullest. Okay, last one there. Deep breaths in and out. Let me see what is next. So now we have reverse burpees. This one's fine. So you're going to come down to the floor. You roll into a ball, come up to standing, reach up. That's it. If you'd like to add a jump, go for it. Okay, so you roll back, come to standing, reach up. You can also use your hands if you need to to help you lift up. Try to use your core, and that's what's helping you come. I am not jumping because I really like this move to really focus on the strength and balance it takes to stand up without using my hands, so I prefer not to jump, just to keep it really focused. But you do you. You'll hear me say that all the time. Make the decisions that work for you, for your body, at this moment. And right now, you might feel different than you do tomorrow. Whatever works. Okay, hold this one at the top. You are almost through, just a few more. Let me see what's to come. Okay, front kick. So. Just as it sounds, hands are up in fighting position, so right by your chin, and you're just kicking side to side. See the up and down, love it. Ready, go. Kick right, kick left, kick side to side. So you want to first feel your lower abs, pull your knee up, and then you extend your leg out. So kicking with your heel, with the base of your foot, is what is going to produce this motion. You will also feel the top of your thigh have to work to extend and bend your leg. Fists are up by your face. Deep breath in and out. Nice, quick way to get your heart rate up midday or whenever you choose to do this. I also love to start my day with a quick little cardio like this. I feel like it just gets me ready, ready to go, ready to take on the day with my four girls, ready for anything. So you choose what's best for you. Some people love to work out at night. That is not me. Okay, break time. I am definitely a morning, midday Type of worker outer here. If worker outer is even a word, I know it's not. Okay, jumping jacks or step outs. So I think I'm going to choose step outs, but we'll see. So basically, step right, step left, step side, two side, or you're going to jump it out. Actually, you know what? Jumping feels kind of nice. Feels good. So do whatever feels good to you. Deep breath in. You can always take this to step outs, or you can take a couple step outs and then a couple ja jumping jacks. Again, you need to do what feels best for your body at this time. Some days I feel like jumping, and some days I do not. So, make the choice. In the end, the best way to achieve your healthiest life is by being consistent. Consistency is number one. A few more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, take a break. 15 seconds. Let's see what is after jumping jacks. Plank shoulder taps. I can't believe I put this one here. Okay, so you're going to come down to a plank. You want your feet slightly wider than your hips so you can stay balanced. And then you're just going to opposite hand to opposite shoulder. Ready? Go. So right to left, left to right. Just tapping side to side. You want to keep your core engaged so that your hips don't rock. So you really want to feel the movement only coming from your elbows here. Your shoulders and your hips are parallel with the floor. And that is what is engaging your core. And then your upper body has to hold you stable. Tucking your hips under. Legs are straight, pressing the balls of your feet into the floor. You have space between your shoulder blades. Hands are directly underneath your shoulders here. You have just a few more. Deep breaths in and out. And then you only have two more moves after this. See, it went by so fast. Take it one more each side, and then you are done. Okay, so now we're coming back up. This time we are going to do a squat front punch. So you're coming here, and you're going to squat, punch, punch, stand up. Okay? That's all. Ready? Go. Squat, punch, punch, stand up. Squat, punch, punch, stand up. So you hold it in your squat, squat, and then you punch your arms forward. Sitting back in your heels, you never want your knees to go over your ankles. You want everything in line. Remember, always focus on your joints. If something doesn't feel right, simply just don't do it. Don't keep going if something's hurting. 
make the best decision for you, for your body, for your life. And make the best decision at that time, which could change daily, change by the moment. A few more just like this. Deep breaths in and out. Take it one more. Okay, last move right here. This is a good one. Okay, so you can either choose to just march, high knees, and you want to think of bringing them up to your midline, or you are going to really take it to the next level. This is your last 45 seconds. Let's go. I'm going to try to do quick high knees. Woo! You can do this. Last 45 minutes. Remember, you can take it slow and just march, high knees. You can alternate whatever feels best. Pull your abs in nice and tight. Shoulders over your hips. Keep your form soft landings on your toes. You're almost through 20 seconds. That's it. You have made it this far in class. You have made it this far in this workout. And then you are through. And I'll take you through a quick little cool down. This is when you smile. You see that finish line. You maybe go a little bit faster. Ready? Five, four, three, two, and one. And that's it. Take some deep breaths in and out. Walk it out. You've made it through this 15-minute workout. And it was tough. I'm breathing heavy. I'm right there with you. We're doing this together. We are in this together. Deep breaths in and out. Take a few more side to side. You just want to bring your breath down. So take a deep inhale through your nose. And then an exhale through your mouth. Do that again. Deep inhale. And exhale. Okay, when you're ready, bring your feet to a stop. Stop bending your knees, and then you want to inhale, arms reach overhead. And then clasp your hands at the top. And then stretch up toward the ceiling. And then take an inhale, and on the exhale, just let your arms kind of fall. Do that again. Deep breath in. And reach up toward the ceiling. And exhale, just kind of let them fall. Okay, roll your shoulders back. Roll them forward. Nice little twist from your waist. Always trying to bring your heart rate back down. Place both hands behind your back. And extend your arms long. Nice, proud chest here. Whew. Okay, now that clearly was not enough stretch, so make sure that you take the time to go through some more. And I will be adding some stretching workouts, some stretching videos in the next few days so that you can really work to stretch out your body. It's very important to not only add strength, cardio, and stretching all throughout your workout program. Remember, your body requires so much t maintenance, so much taking care of, and it's worth it. You have one body, one life. Take care of yourself. Thank you so much. Again, I am Renee. Thank you for being with me today, and I cannot wait to see you again. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye, everyone.